clutch shots all time. Let's play Olympia. Bueno suerte. Good luck to both of y'all. Come true this evening. So what you're going to see tonight is conventional fighters. They use their two-inch advantage in height, but he fights down to his level sometimes. But you see, you see that unconventional ways I'm talking about. He's rushing in with shots, chin exposed, coming around the guard, underneath the guard. Remember, he's a shorter fighter, and he has a short, shorter reach as well. So he leaps in, trying to set up that body work and those uppercuts. Joel, Olympic gold medalist Robson Conceição. Nice combination there from Lopez well, you like for Gonzalez for punching on the hip. You see the way Lopez attempts to evade punches, and then he digs to the body. Another, he's keeping Lopez from finding his rhythm. Nice combination, though, left and right from Lopez. And we talked about adjustments, and that's a great adjustment from Lopez. That first leaping left hook that lands clean on Joette Gonzalez. Ooh, the punch in the gloves, but still. You see how hard they fought Manny Pacquiao. Yeah, exactly. Those calves. Nazim Ahmed had those calves wow. as well. Look at this. Look, <laughs> he looks unfazed. He looks bored. He's just like, ah, oh, just a day at the office. There's nothing. Guys, this with that mentality, like, I have nothing to lose. Joette's so focused right now. He's expanding so much energy and trying to be efficient. And Lopez is there like, mid-range, like he's doing right here. He shot a jab out there, yes, but then he covers up when some offense is coming back. See, just like that. I mean, the, the judges are seeing something. Slight of hand from Lopez here. The champion digging to the body. Joette attempting to answer here in the final seconds of the fifth round. Punches through five rounds. That's 3% better than Joette Gonzalez. Again from Lopez. And the difference was Gonzalez was pushing Lopez back, but they were uppercuts. Oh, there coming. it is. There's that right That's hand the right the hand. combination. Too many left hooks coming from Gonzalez. There's another right hand. Right. Yes. Starting to get yes. inflamed here. Yeah, a lot of times when you have a, a, a fighter that can punch, he swells you up quickly. He really does. Um, I remember being in the ring with Luzan Pabanikov. He had heavy hands. And, he, and I, when he hit me, I quickly started to swell up. So. Judges don't don't really pay attention to damage. They don't pay attention to that at all. This isn't UFC where they pay attention it's to damage. It's red from the body punching Ooh, of Gonzalez. You see the uppercut right yes, there? sir. Right uppercut. And for Joet Gonzalez, he sees Luis Alberto Lopez is there. He just can't touch him. Two punches up the middle. Ooh, there's that stick from Lopez. Look at that. Setting up Gonzalez as he over the left foot. Good shot right there. Now the right hand, and he's putting Lopez in. There's a short right hand, uppercut, and this is where Joette cannot let the round get away from him. Rounds a piece, 95, 95. Fellas, this is your life. Absolutely, we've seen Joseph, the cheekbone of Joette Gonzalez. Nice right hand from Lopez. Things with the right, lands with the left. Quick flurries from Lopez. Nice left hook from Lopez. Joey Gonzalez. Lesson learned from that loss against Isaac Dogbay. It's gonna be in the hands of the judges. And I don't know wow. what they're going to write on their scorecards because it's- All in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. And still, IBF featherweight champion of the world, Luis Alberto El Venado Lopez. Timothy Bradley, you just went to a judging seminar. Yep. Your thoughts on how wide these scorecards were tonight? Well, I can just tell you this early on, uh, Lopez had complete control. 